So today what we're doing is in Jambala. Jambala is annoying us. Uh, how do you say? Hospitality God. Knowing as that. But that doesn't mean as long as you have one image of Jamala, then you become a rich. Or you do some prayers on Jamala, then you become rich. Everybody. Or some pujas did this for, then you become rich, definitely. It's not like that. And different people have different karmic connection. Also different people have different attitude and perception. Okay? So first I want to tell you what is a different Dharma protector and the uh, prosperity God. Okay? Prosperity God is something you, something historically, uh, some have historical connection in general. So this is Zambala and there and there other three, they are known as four goddesses. Four goddesses, four goddesses. So that is, uh, you can connect it to some kind of planet. Externally some planet, internally Maybe your generosity and uh, in the enlightened level, that uh, deity. Dharma protector means, Dharma protector have two differences, I told you, remember? Some is enlightened beings manifest a Dharma protector, like Mahakala. And some of them is bad, powerful ones. Some other powerful masters pacified them and let them make a vow to protect the Dharma using your power and don't use for bad, bad things. So that means, let's say, a robber, very powerful robber very bad one, but very skillful and brave. That one, somebody better than him, uh, either made with French, either made French, or either defeat, uh, but didn't kill. So the agreement is you never do bad things now. From now on, all your skills and all your brave needs to do good things. <coughs> and you don't do all bad things. So promised, taken the vow, means promised. So this rubber is not in, inherently bad person. So that's why he has integrity. So he wouldn't easily break your promises with you, who deal with you. So like that. So some of them, they didn't have to do bigger fight. They become friends. Some of them, you fight and you defeat them. You can kill them, but you, instead you kill, you made some deal. <laughs> so Dharma protectors like that. So then, sometimes they break promise, so they become a bad again. But usually, they have some integrity. So that means, it's very difficult sometimes you distinguish, oh, which one is Dharma Patakta good, which one is not so good. Huh? And which one is enlightened, which one is not enlightened, which one is just manifest Dharma but the reality is enlightened, but which one is not enlightened, not easy. So be aware of that. So that's why anybody say, oh, anything, oh, this is good, and don't try to involve. Okay? So this one is 
uh, prosperity God. When we say prosperity God, then some people are very, what do you call, very enthusiastic about it. <laughs> some people, oh no, that sounds sweet, you know. There's two extremes. So, that's why I want to educate you a little bit. Yes, this is, in general, you call prosperity God. Is there's a historical contract already, everybody know. In the history, is some referred to planets and distance. But, individually, again, becomes different. That's why today, what we're doing today, is already some enlightened ones established this, this system, how to uh, do the initiate, and then how to do uh, you practice is more enlightened way and more is like Vajrayana, highest Vajrayana way so why they made this? then they made like this God, uh, God uh, post, uh, prosperity God is become more like enlightened so that means uh, You, you have a better perception, which means you have a better perception. So let's, let's say one person, someone said, oh, this person is so bad, I don't like, it. oh, he's, you know, like this, and some people say, oh, no, I really like, it. I have good experiences with, long time. You know, I have 100% trust, no problem. But the other one thinks very bad, you know. So, so like that way, so this one, and in this lineage, sees as a, not just, not just I want more money. It's not like that. It is something linked with generosity, and generosity is uh, uh, linked to the the uh, perfection, one of the six perfections, and sometimes they also these six is link each other. So that means one generosity you can have at, uh, inside have six perfections. That kind of linked this one. In this way, uh, how do you say established? So that means. Oh, we need prosperity. We need prosperity. But for purpose of generosity, not purpose of stinginess, masliness. Okay? So why? If you do that, and then you have less, less chance to be rich, to be wealthy. Inner wealth, external wealth, all of them you have less chance. That's why in this system I connect it with generosity, with enlightenment. Okay? Remember that. So how can you do that? You may think, you know. But we have many things, examples like that. Remember, we have that story. Uh, a mother, only one son. One son, he goes Lhasa, which means the central Tibet, the most uh, holy object there. He also goes there all the time for worldly purpose, for business. And mother is incredible, faithful, uh, religious, uh, practitioner. So she asked, 
all the time. Please bring me some holy object I want to worship. <laughs> and he forgot all the time because he, he has no intention for that. He just gone only for money, that's why he forgot all the time. So one time then mother said, if you didn't bring this time, I'm going to die in front of you. <laughs> Whether she die or not, but she just made a big deal, otherwise he never remember. <laughs> So then he forgot again, and only before one day I arrived home, he remembered, come back home. So he, he has no choice, so he just have to lie. So he saw there is some bones, and, and a dog bone, a dog head, so he <laughs> broke this and pick up one dog tooth and then he put it inside many silk, expensive silk wrapped uh, outside. <laughs> so gave to the mother and said, this time I bought you excellent one. <laughs> so mother said, what it is? It is Joe, uh, oh, Buddha's, Buddha's teeth. <laughs> Buddha's teeth. <laughs> So mother, she believed a hundred percent, hundred percent. She has no doubt and she's so happy and she worship every day, she practices and, and so many relics come from the doctor. <laughs> and you know when when she die, she become rainbow body. So that's I'm not made up, you know, the very enlightened ones they rot rot in there. So they could they shouldn't be lying. Mm. So, and this is only one story, but many, many like that story. So that means it shows there is no such thing. Only dog tooth can be anything. Depend your perception, depend your, you know. Because our karmic version, everything is our karmic version. We, our karma, whatever see is this our karmic version not the reality. So for him is a dog, dog did, or for him is a dog did, but for her is a Buddha did. <laughs> so that's why, so we have to do this way today. Um, you cannot even, you cannot any, make any profit and sometimes you lost, you lost a lot of money, instead make it, you know, why? Some others, they, they do very well, some they don't know why. We have to think about why. You, have, you cannot think it's just one reason, okay? You cannot think it's just one reason. One reason is not enough. But if we say only one reason, then it's just black and white. <clears throat> you have to think multiple reasons. But Sometimes, okay, two people did the same thing, but one is very successful, one is not. And then, we can see a little reason why, no, six, maybe there's something little differences, and we excuse it on that, you know. <coughs> but the real primary reason is something to do with your generosity. Not necessarily this time you are the person now, you know, in this current, maybe you're not too stingy person, but something to do in your previous life or your early life or whatever, there's something to do, okay? So that should be the primary, primary reason. All the others we can excuse as we think about, is secondary reason, which means why the other excuses you have because of your generous not enough in total, right? Not this particular one. Even you served the food nicely and you didn't been generous. Currently, you didn't been even very stingy, right? But still, you have this bad luck. <laughs> so. Why? Because of in total your generosity is something wrong. Not enough. So we have to think of that. 
And at the same time, you also have to understand, let's say somebody is very generous, but still business, everything go down, not making money, blah, blah, blah. Somebody is very stingy, but still making a lot of money. As you, you, this you can think of you, oh, this sounds not true. Because that proof? No, not proof. Do you know why not proof? Because we are not just in this love completely new proverb from nowhere. It's not like that. Always is a circle. We have, you know, uh, always the continuity. So that person is very stingy this time, but still success business means not always been stingy. That means in total this person not necessarily have a lot of merits, not necessarily, but everything he has merit can't do finish in this lifetime. So that's why when you die, it doesn't matter you are billionaires, it doesn't matter you die, you have nothing. Nothing with you, right? But you have gener if you've been generous, that's definitely with you. Why? Because the material cannot go with you, but <coughs> in your printed in your mind, always with you, cannot separate it. <laughs> so that's why it's not necessarily that. But also, if somebody is incredibly generous but still has financial problems, that means yes, maybe you have some in the past in stinginess. This karma is doesn't mean you have zero generous before. You wouldn't be generous this lifetime if you never been generous. Because always had something similarity comes. <coughs> you being generous person right now, also reason is coming. It's not, but the karmas, you know, which one arrived first, remember? So trillions of karmas, which one arrived first? So this time is a bad trend. <laughs> so that's why even if you are some kind of generous, everything still have financial problems. Just this bad trend right now. So we have to think that is something bigger, which means that it becomes luck. Like, okay, you are a bad trend today, but tomorrow is a good trend. You have to think about this, not like a, this means this, okay, this lifetime, or maybe 10 years may be bad trend, but then maybe 10 years later, okay. Or five years, or who knows, three, only three years, or most of this lifetime. This we have to think of only today, tomorrow, day after tomorrow. Okay? Yes, today, today, tomorrow. Think like that way. So that's why the generosity is always something to do. So how do we know this? Of course, we can, we can think many, many ways, many, many logics about it. Something very obvious things. You know, do you know anybody incredibly generous, but always, always a financial problem? Probably not exist, you know? Or do you know, let's say, even, even you know somebody very generous, always financial problem, okay, but is any richness on this person then? If not financially not reached, but is there any richness? So is many people like this person? Uh, is he is happy? <laughs> you know, or he is very wise. And any other richness is rather than the material, material richness. If it does, that means certainly he is linked with his generosity right now. He is very generous. When we say, usually we say, we generous means material generous. Usually we refer to that. But this material generous person have other richness is definitely matching with this material generous. But if we have other generosity, you know, we given is not only material given, remember? 
We have given many ways we can give in. But materially very strange person is kind of a sign not very generous. Why? Because the most obvious level. The most obvious level is material. <laughs> so that's why is uh, so and everybody think of that. So that's why it's uh, most obvious level means is easy. You don't have to be you you don't have to be how do you say wise or anything. This is very easy to detect. So in that level, if you are very stingy, mm, <laughs> doubt you don't have any in, in the other subtle richness. So that's why. <coughs> Buddha, why, why Buddha put uh, the first, you know, first, the first from the six, the six perfections? Because, because you know, this is for training. So, to be generous is the easiest, and the second is uh, discipline. You know, moral discipline, not just the discipline. You know, discipline for. Um, just ego discipline and not like that. It's moral discipline, you know. So second, so and third, and uh, the diligent. Diligent. Diligent means you have to think of inspiration. Enthusiastic about this inspiration. Determined, you have to think of this. And then after that, patience. Patience means that a similar discipline, but it's, uh, uh, it's kind of like braveness, you know. You can cope with Patience means, oh, you wait for anything, you waste time all the time, because you don't mind it so slow, you always wait. <laughs> That's not really patience. <laughs> patience means, you can cope with any other situation if there is no other choice. <laughs> there is no other solution. That means if you have to wait, there is no other solution, you can do it. You're not extremely frustrated and angry. But if you have other solution, try to make a quicker or something else you can do, you can do it. And then after that, we have the concentration. Concentration means, remember? <coughs> concentration means just, just we have little concentrations, not that. This concentration means, you know, limitless. All of them you can from limit and limitless to all. But generous to put first because it's a little bit easier than the others. So why is it so hard, you know, like, uh, let's say, think about material things, how much we spend unnecessary things, and how many junk you have in your house, how much you collect it, and then how much you let go or give other people. So just, we don't have to judge each other. <laughs> you judge yourself, then you will realize something. You know, I mean, so the same thing. The best generosity, given dharma, given dharma. That's why people have this idea. Oh, given dharma should be free. Given dharma should be free. Dharma always should be free. Some people charging dharma, that's so bad. People have this idea. It's right. Given dharma is definitely should be free. But anything else involved, is there any cost? I can continue to continue to come here. Is, do I have any cost? <laughs> or I just, 
Well, I am. <laughs> so I'm not just joking me, okay? <laughs> I'm joking everybody. <laughs> Anybody do Dharma activities. Sometimes the people have very, you know, like strange attitude to say, oh, you should be free. Okay. Unfortunately, <laughs> unfortunately, modern Dharma not always come free. <laughs> because too many uh, other costs, unnecessary causes. So an ancient time is Dharma free. Do you know why? The student caused everything. They sell everything. And if I look at the Tibetan history, they sell everything and train the god and they go to India and they, they find a teacher. They sacrifice their life, you know, like think about it. Freezing in Tibet and go to boiling hot <laughs> India. <laughs> that time, no car, nothing walk <laughs> through the mountain. How dangerous. They sacrifice their wealth, they sacrifice their life, you know, risk, and everything they go. So you go free. <laughs> you know, the yogis don't have to do anything, they just stay in the mountain. Meditate so other people, the student come teach. But modern, you have to advertise. <laughs> Nobody come to you. You <laughs> otherwise you just decide not teach dharma. All my knowledge is just rotten in my stomach. <laughs> otherwise you have to advertise. <laughs> Is Arvatas ever free? <laughs> Just joking. Anyway, so, uh, yeah, so I think the, 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 the most important today is this uh, Jambala. So everybody, of course, want to reach, reach materialism, uh, reach the compassion, uh, wisdom, and strength, and health, and everything. So try to connect all of them rather than only money and then becomes very not powerful. Okay?